Hello and welcome to uh, Shane's main shop. Today we got to change the blower motor uh, in our Miller Furnace. Uh, you can see it's got a Beckett burner in it and all that, but basically the blower motor um, overheated and just died because we've been running the AC full bore and it's central AC. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull that out and end up get a new put a new motor in it. So the first thing you want to do is locate your emergency shutoff switch for your heating system, cooling, whatever it might be in your case, and make that sure that's in the off position. Turn the fan switch to off as well, and uh, disconnect the main power feed to the fan, which you can see that it goes right up the side there. Very hard to see, and it's all part of the motor. It goes right inside the motor. Then there is one screw to remove up top here, and I actually already took that out. It's pretty tight to get in there, but that's the screw. It was in that hole you see right there. Sometimes there's more than one. It might be one at the bottom. In this case, there isn't. Now, the way this fan is designed and mounted in there, there is some little tabs. You can just see they're not really in focus back there. Let's see if I can point to it a little bit. Right above my finger. Oh, I got dirt on my finger. It's dust. The little tabs, and the fan has a lip on it. It slides behind a couple of those tabs, and it also slides behind uh, some tabs at the bottom there. So, sorry about the lighting. It's not very good in there, but there's really not much to see other than that. Uh, once you have that um, screw out, you'll see this whole fan assembly will just lift right up. You can see it's all loose now. And it's going to lift up and then slide to the left out of those little clips there and come out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do it one-handed, so I'll have to put the camera down. I might be able to show you what I mean here. All right, so there you go. I actually was able to get it out of there one-handed. Uh, for the most part so it's out of those little tabs and then you can see inside the side of the fan here uh, i'm just going to go ahead and maybe uh, i'm going to shut the camera off so i can just take it out of the furnace compartment but that's what you're looking at you can see it's completely disconnected now. all right once that's out you can see what i'm talking about now those tabs there and then it slides into little slots here and here and this is a good time to really vacuum this out oh, you should have your your furnace serviced at regular at least yearly intervals uh, depending on your circumstances and uh, while this is a part i'm going to go ahead and clean this as well but that will not be in this video but i'll clean up a lot of the dust there is two dogs in this particular house so a lot of dog here and dust builds up in behind here in behind the fan you can see there's a lot on this it needs to be cleaned off uh, that doesn't help the fan any of course but here's the fan assembly on its side right here uh, and it was standing standing upright in this position when it was in there um, basically, we just need to change the motor. The motor uh, just got wore out. It's probably you know 25 years old, and I can see it's stiff. It's not turning good. It's a combination of age and a lot of buildup of junk and dirt in there. And the other thing you want to take time to do when you have it out, I'm just taking my finger in there, and I'm just going to round up one of the fan blades, and you can see the uh, soot, and, uh, not soot, but the dust uh, built up on those blades. So I'm going to want to thoroughly clean this thing out. Take the motor off first and then thoroughly clean it out before we put it back together and that will also help with better airflow uh, throughout the house that's what it looks like looking from this side let's see back the camera up here uh, this is the inlet this is where the air goes in it goes through the fins of the door the fins of the furnace uh, cover in through here and then uh, blows out down through the uh, furnace through here and then out to the house uh, but there you have it so basically what we need to do is take the motor off just turn it back over here uh, take this motor off and uh, get the appropriate one to replace it which I probably have spare parts here seeing how my dad was a furnace repair man pretty much his entire life we get tons and tons of spare parts so uh, hopefully I have this exact one to replace it and we'll get this thing back together uh, but the next thing I can do is get some uh, nut driver and remove these three and then we'll also be unplugging these two wires here and then the motor will be free from the blower housing now we may have to save this bracket assembly sometimes the motor come with that on it looks like this might be permanently made to this mode i'm not sure until i get it out sometimes they have that on sometimes they don't it's a ring that goes around it. so depending on the circumstances 
I will show. I, think I did forget to show real quick here. Uh, before the motor will come out, you do have to remove this. Uh, not, this could be a set screw in your particular unit. Uh, and that holds the fan blades here, the blow apart here, to the shaft of the motor. So we're gonna loosen that up so this can slide off that, and that way the motor will slide out the back. So I got the three bolts out, and now I'm just trying to pull the motor out. But let's see, I gotta stand up here. Maybe I can use my foot to hold it and try to show you this. No, it's gotta be pulled out pretty evenly. Oh, one more screw I gotta take out too. All right, so the motor's pretty well all disconnected here. And that's what I was talking about. That set screw went right up against there. Uh, when you line that back up, you got to take time to make sure it's in the right spot so the fan blade doesn't hit against the sides of the housing here. Uh, I just saw this one last ground screw here. I do have to remove. Uh, so we'll get that uh, right there. Get that removed and the motor will be free. And then it's just a matter of matching up uh, the motor for a new one. All right, and you can see in this particular case, these fins, uh, these connecting brackets are actually uh, spot welded right to the motor. So they will not go on the new motor. So we just got to find one that has these brackets or a bracket system uh, that will match up. But sometimes they're a universal bracket that squeezes around the motor. And other times they are like this and they're spot welded on. Um, I just got to get the information off it and then go match it up with a, a new one. And then we just reverse that process. Okay, I see, as you can see, there's the motor I took out of this one. And I went out in the shop and dad not only had a spare motor, but he has a complete assembly here. Uh, this, this motor clearly does a little bit more, has an extra wire or two. However, the only wires being used in this one are the white and black, and I'll show you that in a minute. The rest of these are not being used. And then, uh, and the white and black in this plug are they're in the same location uh, as they are in this plug. Um, so I might not even take this motor out. I'm just going to install this whole blower assembly in there because uh, it's all the same measurements. And this one has the ring I was telling you about. So you can see that. See that bolt right there? That clamps around the motor. So you can just, uh, you know, keep using the same, this bracket on several different motors where that bracket is spot welded to it. So that's what I was talking about there. So this one has a ring that just squeezes and grabs the motor. So you can just pull the motor out and leave the brackets in place. Uh, let me go to show you what I was talking about as far as those. And the black is in the middle. Uh, that plugs in right here. And the white one is in this corner up here and the black one's in the center. And if you look under here to the corresponding plug, there they are right there. And the other three that are coming through it, right here, the blue, red, and the orange, are not even being used. They are just zip tied off to the side. So uh, that looks like I'll have no problem just putting that other motor right in here. And I measured the fan uh, housing and everything. Like I said, it's got the tabs and everything. So it's gonna just drop right in place here. Uh, I wish I could show you that, but I just can't do it one handed and I don't have my tripod, but it's pretty straightforward. Just slide the housing in, the tabs go down into here, and then it slides in behind here. And then you return the screws in here uh, actually, in this particular case, it's just one screw. It's the only screw hole. There's no other screw hole. So we're going to go ahead and get that housing, get it popped in here, and uh, see if we can get some air back in the house. But as you can see, I got the floor housing back in, or this is the new one, or new, new used. The fins are all in, locked in place. You can see that. And then I got the screw back up in there, the one screw it gets. You can see that I just plugged the wire on. Now this is one directional plug here. I'm gonna show you to, to take it off. You're just gonna squeeze right here like this and then the wiggle it pulls up. Now you can see two of those towards the top of your screen are, have flat sides to them and that corresponds to flat sides in this. That only one way it'll go in there. And that's in place. We should be able to fire it back up. Uh, I'm going to put this cover back on just so things rattling and I don't lose any screws. And these screws went to the other blow motor housing, so we'll save those. Let me put this cover back on here. Now, again, this is not necessarily a how-to video. I encourage you to seek professional help anytime you're dealing with any electrical components or a heating system. Uh, this is more for entertainment. If you get something out of it, great. Uh, but this, again, is not 
necessarily an educational video. I don't want you doing this if you don't know what you're doing because you could damage something or worse, uh, hurt yourself. So I turned the fan switch back on and I did already turn the power back on over there. Now it's just a matter of going and turning the thermostat to cool position. Oh good, the dry stopped. I am very sorry about that background noise. All right, I'm gonna turn this to cool, which is this way. And then we'll turn this up here. Oh, so that's a 70. And as you can see, came over here just because the fan is blowing very loud. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let that run and see if we get cold air out of it. I still have to clean all the fins and everything, um, but we'll, uh, we'll mess with that later. But just real quickly here, let's just see. Oh, we are definitely getting cool air. Uh, so that is good. Project complete. So uh, if you have a furnace uh, like that, uh, with AC in it in the summertime, and the motor burns up on you, um, that's how you can replace but again not an educational video just entertainment don't get hurt seek professional or seek a professional anytime all right thanks for swinging by shane's main shop please like subscribe comment come back often for more videos have a great day and we'll see you in the next video hope this helped you out a little bit it made me learn something